I would now like to speak to the seminarians. Dear brothers in Christ, as men preparing for priestly ordination, it is important for you to have a clear understanding of the vocation to which you feel caught so that your promise of lifelong fidelity may be maturely made and faithfully kept. Your life in the priesthood will closely join you with the Eucharist. You will be the ministers of the mysteries of God. You will be expected to preach and teach in the name of the Church. The Eucharist is the principal reason for the ordained priesthood. As I said in my 1980 Holy Thursday letter, through our ordination, we priests are united in a singular and exceptional way to the Eucharist. In a certain way, we derive from it and exist for it. No work we do as priests is so important. The celebration of the Eucharist is the way that we best serve our brothers and sisters in the world because it is the source and center of the dynamics of their Christian lives. How crucial it is then for our own happiness and for the sake of a fruitful ministry that we cultivate a deep love for the Eucharist. Deep love for the Eucharist. And you and I have been chosen by Jesus. I have called you by your name, Jesus says. You are mine. Water will not drown you. Fire will not burn you. I will give nations for you. You are precious to me. I love you. We have that in the scripture so clearly. The tenderness and the love of God for us. And he wants us to be that tenderness and love to the people. He wants to use you. That's why you have become a priest. You have not become a priest to become a social worker, as that minister said. Use a life of holiness Christ offers to you and to me. Christ offers long life, faithful, personal friendship, espousing us in tenderness and love. And to make that oneness more living, more beautiful, so to say, he gives the Eucharist. See, that is your life. And this is what we want from you, to teach us to be holy. We religious, we need more even than the people, because we cannot give to our people what we don't have. So teach us to pray, teach us to be holy. And I think we and our people will be holy. Because there are places where you cannot go, maybe. But if you have given us, we can give to them. In many places, bishops have given us permission to bring Holy Communion to the, the furthest possible slums. And difficult even to describe what they are like. And there, Jesus comes, right there. We could not bring Jesus to them if you didn't give him to us. 
I'd like to invite you all to kneel with me now as we pray prayer number 1A, Consecration to Jesus through the Immaculate Conception. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Mother, you are the masterpiece of God's creation. You are the Immaculate Conception, and mirror His likeness and will. Mother, the source of your power is your divine maternity, and therefore all generations will call you blessed. You are the perfect model for the members of the Church to imitate, because you always seek to form others into the image of your divine Son, so that they can become one spirit with Him. I, Carolyn, a poor sinner, solemnly consecrate myself, my family, the apostolate for family consecration, and my country to you, the Immaculate Conception. I ask you as our patroness to enable us to transform our country into a God-centered nation, thus helping us to fulfill our destiny. Mother of Sorrows, you manifested your motherhood at Calvary for us, and through your maternal immaculate heart, your mystical spouse, the Holy Spirit, dispenses his life-giving graces. Please obtain for me the grace of a tender love for your divine Son in the Most Holy Eucharist, for St. Joseph, and for my family and community. Through you, Most Immaculate Heart of Mary, in union with St. Joseph, I unconditionally give to the Sacred Heart of Jesus all my spiritual and material possessions. Most pleasing Daughter of the Father, I ask you to apply all my indulgences to the poor souls of my loved ones and others in purgatory, and ask them, along with the angels and saints, to pray to the Lord our God that I, my family, and the members of my community and country may die to our selfishness and have the desire always to truly do His will, no matter what the cost. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.